In this quick video, we are going to cover how to do an amended tax return. An amended tax return, as we all know or should know, is whenever you need to make a change to an already filed tax return, you are then going to add the form 1040X to make some changes to that. So how do we do that in the program? Let me show you real quick. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and over here I'm going to add the form 1040X from my form finder. Make sure you've printed an original copy. So what we're going to do is we're going to print the original copy just so that we have it on file. And then the basic process is this. I'm just verbally walk it out and then we'll visually walk it out and demonstrate it in the program. We are going to pull into the form the original column. So this is what the return originally looked like. So I click on the original column and it's going to pull that into the 1040X form. Okay, And then we're going to go back into the tax return. We're going to make the changes that need to be made, uh, adding a 1099, adjusting the wages because we fat fingered something. And then we're going to come back to the 1040X and we're going to pull in the corrected amount. And that will be that. So I'm going to exit here. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go exit here back to my 1040 and add in something we forgot to add. We'll just say that we had, uh, yeah, we'll just make it real simple. We'll add in some other income we forgot to report. And we'll call it uh, consulting. And it was uh, $5,000 and it was earned income. So I'm going to change this to yes. Click OK. Exit. Exit. And you're going to see that it's going to dramatically impact our refund. Okay, so we saw the adjustment that it just made. I'm going to go back to my 1040X. Now that I've made my changes, I'm going to edit the 1040X, go into the 2014 amended, and now I'm going to pull in the changes into the corrected column, the way that it should have been from the beginning. Okay, and now we can see our changes side by side. This was the original uh, income, here's our corrected income. And as such, we have a difference of $2,132 versus what was originally in there. So we're going to end up um, having to pay back some of this $6,000 that we were uh, given or a refund and now um, pay back the $2,132 that's due. With uh, all 1040Xs, they are mailed in. So you will need to print this out and mail it in to, uh, to the IRS. And that is what we wanted to cover today. Hope this was beneficial and thank you for watching.